بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم نحمد و نسلی علیہ رسول الکریم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ہاؤ آر یو چلڈرن ہوپ یو آل آر گڈ اینڈ ہیونگ آ گڈ ویک اینڈ آئی ہوپ یو آل انجوائڈ یور ویک اینڈ ناؤ اگین وی آر بیک ٹو آور اسٹڈیز دس از آور اسلامک اسٹڈیز کلاس آئی ویلکم یو آل in lecture number 16 if you have your books with you then this is your book open page number 97 unit 9 dealings this is unit is about the dealings and lesson 2 good muslim in previous lectures we have learned about the good character that what character should a muslim has so after that after understanding about the good character now we are going to read and going to understand about the good muslim let's start first of all we say dua bismillahir rahmanir rahim rabb ishrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wahlul uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli rabb zidni ilma okay children start reading concentrate on your book or concentrate on your laptop or computer screen lesson 2 a good muslim it's a verse from the holy quran the surah ali imran رجیمین Did you understand this verse, children? Enjoying what is right. Always follow the right and forbidding what is wrong. And always say no to the wrongdoings. <clears throat> this is the verse of Holy Quran. It means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying this to us that kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat linnasi. you are the best of people evolved for mankind ta'muruna bil ma'rufi enjoying what is right wa tanhauna 'anil munkar and forbidding what is wrong it means allah is asking us or allah is ordering us that you should enjoy or you should follow you should always be with the right and forbid it means to say means don't follow that what is wrong let's start reading islam is the religion of peace so a muslim should make peace in his society islam asks us to do good deeds and prevent evil a muslim must forbid wrong doings he must fight against injustice and evil if he cannot prevent it himself he should advise people against wrong doing if he cannot do even that he should let he should at least hate wrong doings that is the weakest of iman what is the weakest of iman that he should at least hate wrong doings in heart a muslim should do good according to his ability by doing so he brings peace and stability to the society islam asks us to make peace in society peace and security is the main goal of an islamic society look peace and security is the main goal of an islamic society that is why islam is called the religion of peace 
Islam, therefore, is not only good for Muslims, but for all mankind. This is the chapter. Now let's see. Let's try to understand. Islam is the religion of peace. As you know, children, that from the name Islam, Salam, it comes from Salam or Salam. It means peace. The name, our the name of our religion, showing that it's the religion of peace. There is no violence here. There is no terrorism here. We are following the peaceful religion and Islam always asks us to make peace in society. As you know that peace is the one of the most important or you can say the most important in the life of a Muslim because the aim of Islam is to create a peaceful society. What do you understand by society? Society means your surroundings, where you are living, where you live, the place where your house is situated, the nearby houses, your neighborhoods, the people who meet you day and night in the morning when you are going to pray in masjids, then you meet very, uh, different people there. This is your society, where you are living. Or if you go to the school, you meet your friends, there are the teachers and uh, your relatives then this is called your society so the basic aim of islam the religion islam is to make peace in society or a muslim should make peace in society where he lives he must create peace in the society understand children so the peace is the main goal Peace is the main goal of Islamic world or Islamic society. A Muslim must, okay, Islam asks us to do good deeds and prevent evil. As you can uh, already learn that Muslims should behave to make the people happy, to bring happiness to the people. And don't even try to hurt the feelings of others. We should respect the rights of others because Allah does not like those people who make others sad, who make others unhappy. So Allah asks us to make others happy. So this is called good deeds. Your deeds should be like that, that uh, uh, your uh, the peoples who are living near you, they become happy with you and you must prevent evil. If there are something wrong in your environment, then you should prevent it. You should try to stop it. Look like this, a Muslim must forbid wrongdoings. That what is wrong, you should accept it by your heart and you try to stop it with your hands or with your uh, sayings that wrongdoings are wrong he must fight means a muslim must fight against injustice injustice means as i told you if there is a favorism favoritism if someone is favoring injusticely then you have to stop it because this is the work of an evil shaitan if he cannot prevent it himself he should advise if you cannot prevent by your hands then you should advise those people to stop doing that wrongdoing and if he cannot do even that he should at least hate wrongdoing if you uh, if you do not able to stop uh, the people who are doing uh, something wrong, then you should at least hate wrongdoing means then in your heart you feel that they are doing wrong and you should leave them. But this is the weakest of Iman. Hate the ruin wrongdoings is the weakest means that you are just feeling hate in your heart and you are not able to stop them by your advising or by your hands. So this is the weakest of Iman that you are seeing that some people are doing wrong, but you cannot able to stop them. So this is the weakest of Iman. You should make your Iman as strong as you can stop them. 
you know, there is a, also a hadith, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whoever amongst you seen an evil means something, you can say uh, the wrongdoings. He must change it with his hands. Understand? If you see something wrong is happening or something evil happened there, you should change it with your hands. Okay, I'm telling you the hadith, whoever amongst you seen an evil, he must change it with his hands. If he is not able to do so, then with his tongue, means verbally, you should advise them to stop. And if he is not able to do so, that if, if it is not able, if the person is not able to even advise them, then with his heart, and that is the weakest of Iman. So you should at least feel in your heart that this is the evil thing. And this is the weakest of Iman. You should try to make yourself that much strong that you can stop the wrongdoings. Okay, a Muslim should do good according to his ability. Means suppose uh, at your age, you are small kids, then in school, if you see that uh, someone in your friends or in your cousins, your relatives, if someone, according to your age, if you're playing and they are lying something, they say something wrong, so you should stop them. This is according to your ability means that whatever you can do, because sometimes this is the matter of respect that you cannot stop the elder ones maybe your relatives, uncles, and sometimes they also do the wrong things, or maybe they are lying about something, but because you are small, you cannot stop them, but you can stop your friends, your cousins of your age, if they are lying, or if they are beating someone, or if they are stealing something, so you should stop them. You should stop them by your hands. Or if you cannot do so, you tell them verbally, advise them that this is not a good thing. Or if you tell to their parents that that boy is doing a wrong thing. Okay, children? By doing so, he brings peace and stability to the society. If you create a good things in the society, then it will bring a peace. Islam asks us to make peace in society. Look like I told you in the beginning that the meaning of Islam is peace. So Islam brings the peace in society and Islam asks all the Muslims to make peace. Peace and security is the main goal of an Islamic society. The main purpose of religion Islam is the peace and security. The security of all the people who are living in that society. That is why Islam is called the religion of peace because peace and security is the main goal. That is why we call our religion Islam the religion of peace. Islam, therefore, is not only good for Muslims, but for all mankind. Even sometimes in your society, there are people, the followers of different religion. But Islam asks us to behave with them good. To deal our dealings with non-Muslims will also be good. So Islam is not only good for Muslims, but for all mankind, because the name Islam comes from the word peace. Understand, children? So you must try to become a good Muslim and always to prevent, always try to prevent the evil. Understand the evil thoughts, the evil doings, the wrongdoing, always try to stop and always brings the good things in your surroundings. Always try to speak truth. You should always help the poor people. You should always helpful to the needy persons. And the most important thing, always speak the truth. If you speak truth, then many, many evil things you can prevent. Okay, children. 
remember that our religion say amr bil maruf wa nahi anil munkir it means always look good deeds islam ask us to ta'muruna bil maruf wa tanhauna anil munkir good deeds and prevent evil islam always ask us to do good deeds mean behave well make others happy do not hurt the feelings of others respect the rights of others always try to help other people without any return without any expectations of return you should help all around you not even your friends even the persons you don't know maybe sometimes you don't know the people but you should help them okay children okay good i hope you all understood it's a small lesson about the good muslims that how we can become a good muslim by doing good deeds and preventing the evil things Okay, now we have the question answers. Why is Islam called the religion of peace? As I told you, because peace and security are the main goals. What are signs of a good Muslim? What is the aim of an Islamic society? What should a Muslim do if he finds evil? And then what is the weakest of Iman? Hope you all have your notebooks. then we will write the question answer i will tell you first we will do we have here choose the correct answers this means mcqs i make it big for you let's see choose the correct answer islam is the religion of peace do it in your books circle this word peace this is the correct word islam is the religion of peace the main goal of an islamic society is again peace democracy or economics so again the main goal is peace a muslim must try his best to stop good deeds giving charity or wrong doings what a muslim must try to stop wrong doings do this in your books and remember it don't forget it now we have the question answer open your notebooks and start writing why is islam called the religion of peace islam is called the religion of peace because islam ask us to do good deeds and prevent evil okay what are the signs of a good muslim a muslim always forbids wrong doings and fight against injustice and evil what are the signs of a good muslim that a muslim always forbids wrong doings and fights against injustice and evil here comes s also fights what is the aim of an islamic society the aim of islamic society is to make peace in it what should a muslim do if he finds evil a muslim should fight against evil very small answers i make it easy for you just you have to write in your notebooks with a good writing neat and clean and then start memorizing it start learning it because they are very small what should a muslim do if he finds evil a muslim should fight against evil what is the weakest of iman hate the wrong doing is the weakest of iman that you hate in your heart that wrong doings are the evil things we should not do we should not follow the wrong doings this is just think in your heart and you are not able to stop with your hands or by your advice if you are not able to stop by advising and by your hands then this is the weakest of iman that you just only think or you just only feel in your heart that 
these things are wrong. These are the evil things. These things comes from shaitan. This is the weakest of iman to hate. You should hate the wrongdoings, but you should also be able to stop these things by your hands or by your advice. Okay, children, write this. And that's all for today. Take cares and do your work properly and carefully. Take cares.